good afternoon YouTube, hope everyone's well today. Today is the 1st of August, no it's not, it's the 1st of October 2022 and so far the weather today has been shocking, it's been pouring with rain, pouring with wind all day and it's only just brightened up and it's just gone 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I think this signals the end of the summer riding season for this year. Boo! And I will shed a tear. I'm curious to hear everyone's plans for the winter. Does your bike get tipped away at the end of the season and pulled out again in spring or do you keep it going all through the winter, ride all year or do you keep it available so that should you get a nice day you can get out for a ride. What I tend to do is I'll keep my bike ready to go in the garage, uh, so if I want to pop out on a ride on a nice day, I can do that. I think it's important to ride all year round anyway. You need to keep your skills up during the winter, because if you miss the, the winter season, which in Scotland can be quite a long amount of time, when you jump back on the bike in the spring, you, you can be a bit rusty. So I do think it's a good idea to keep riding uh, through the winter. Also because then you're used to riding in weather that's not always ideal. So if you're out in the summer and you get caught in a sudden downpour, you're not used to it, then it can be a wee bit unnerving. So I like to keep my skills up during the winter. But I do find that this time of year you, you need to be really careful because it's getting wetter, the roads are wetter, but you've also got the farmers who are ploughing their fields results in a lot of muck getting pulled on the roads. So when you get wet mud on a wet road, you can uh, make for some interesting corners. And of course you've got the other added uh, danger of wet leaves coming off the trees now. We've had quite a mile September in Ayrshire. So there's not been that many leaves coming down yet. So the weather's just started to turn much wetter and colder this last couple of days. So I think any day now there's going to be a leaf dump or just the trees decide, right, winter's here. And uh, all the leaves suddenly come down in one go. So if that happens, we'll just wait by year. We'll see if it's uh, still rideable or is it wise to put the bike away for a couple of weeks so all those leaves clear. So we'll see. out the window before I left and I was kind of like, blah, winter, blah, blah, mm, I'll get soaked, it's cold, it's windy. Then the sun came out and I thought, ah, bugger it, let's go. So I never actually looked where this is taking me. Again, I just went on to Kalamoto, chose a random distance, I think it was about, can't remember. 40 miles or something. Put my direction which was generally east because it looked like there was going to be less rain east. Uh, hit go. I'll give you a wee update on my Honda Crossrunner which uh, I'm still waiting to be repaired I spoke to the dealership that's doing the insurance work a couple of days ago and they're still waiting for some parts 
Now the parts that they're waiting for are set engine bars and a couple of panels. The problem being, they're on back order and they're not expected to be available till the end of November. Which is quite a while. So what I've done, uh, because obviously I've got this hire bike, and this hire bike is costing insurance company quite a bit of money. Now I'm not paying for that really, so it doesn't bother me too much. However, I put a proposal across to them. Because by the time you add up how much they paid in rental fees, plus the cost of repair for my bike, it's getting up, if not more, than the value of my bike. Now my bike did come back in the report as economically repairable, so it's not been written off. However, when you factor in the cost of how much it's costing to give me a rental bike, um, I think it's getting to the point where I'm going to have to draw a line under it. Now if they decide, the proposal I've put to them is, write my bike off, that way you get rid of the hire, you don't need to pay the hire fees anymore. Uh, pay me out for the bike at fair market value, and I will then decide what I'm doing at that point. Uh, because I buy my cross runner bag, I fix it myself, then I class in right off or do I not? But I've had that discussion before we get to have that again. So that's the proposal I've put forward to them. Well it's, it's a weekend just now so I'm not likely to hear for a wee while but we'll see how that goes. If they accept that proposal fine. If they don't also fine, I'm not I'll be upset either way. Now, there's blue skies over there, there's big giant rain clouds over there. I think I'll go over there. And I've got a wee boy racer up the tube. Actually, I might get around this point if I do go to the right. Year, I'd like to get away on a few more overnight camps with the bike. Maybe get a couple of uh, tours in there. But they will not be very big because I've got a, a wife and kids, so I can't devote all my time to ride my bike. So we'll see what we can do. If anyone's got any thoughts or ideas for things they would like to see, then please a wee comment on for me and I'll have a read. I was thinking about maybe doing a, a short series like an introduction to motorcycling for maybe those people who have watched videos and never thought about getting on a bike themselves. Just basic things like what are the controls on a bike, um, the mechanics of a bike, things you need to look for, the different styles of bike, that kind of idea. Because I know there's a lot of different styles of bike out there and if you're new and you're just thinking about dabbling your toe and getting a bike it could be a wee bit bewildering so that was one idea I had. So give me some feedback on that. And if I don't get my cross runner back I'll be looking to get a new bike. So we'll see how that develops. If I'm, if I'm looking for something I'll get some review videos on of the bikes I've got in mind but I'm not going to do that until I've got a a decision made on mine and if I do get it back then next year will be with me and my cross runner but I must say this uh, this Yamaha 
Tracer 9 GT has been lovely, a beautiful bike to ride. The only thing I've found about it is it's a wee touch too tall for me. I've got a 29 inside leg, which is quite short, so I'm on my proper tippy toes with this. But I've not found it unmanageable, just need to be careful where you start. Right now we're skirting the edge of this rain. Nice blue skies on that side and the bills of Mordor on that side. Slides will make it this time, blurry street lights, work as a guide to memories that we're making tonight. Oh yeah, we'll make it tonight. Yeah. I'll do anything uh, that I feel like I Seriously? wanna do. I'm living life like I got nothing left to prove. What? No way. Right folks, that's us back in Kilmarnock We managed to avoid most of the rain So thanks very much for watching today That's the, the end of the ride I'm going to pop into the hub Full armour uh, Motorcycle Ministries I'm going to pop in there for a coffee So I hope you enjoyed it today And I hope you've enjoyed your season this year So have a couple of sporadic rides during the winter but mostly I guess for a lot of people see you in the spring ride safe everyone take care they wanna be like by everybody in sight but trust me being free ain't spotlights no it's long nights and it's long fights with yourself all the time to get your mind right but if you put in the work you can find the light alright I'll do it